I shouldn't have jinxed it. Hi, I'm Jesus, and this is a video on Valve's brand new key change update. Now, this update is a pretty big deal, and if you haven't heard of it, we're going to start off just by explaining what it does and why Valve says they've done it. So to paraphrase what's in it, I just don't want to get bogged down reading the entire thing out. Any keys purchased going forward won't be tradable or marketable. They're going to be locked to your account. And the reason for this, according to Valve, is that worldwide fraud networks have recently shifted to using CSGO keys to liquidate their gains. At this point, nearly all key purchases that ended up being traded or sold on the marketplace are believed to be fraud source. So you can see how this change would help combat that. And then it then goes on to explain how they don't think this will affect the vast majority of CSGO users. It emphasizes that existing keys aren't going to be affected. So if you have keys in your inventory, those keys are unchanged. You can still sell them. And they also express some remorse for legitimate users and ask for feedback. Now, I want to be clear before I delve into analyzing this, Valve aren't completely indifferent to the trading community with this update. They know it will affect people and they've specifically made sure that pre-existing keys aren't affected. They don't want to hurt their customers with this. And the fact that they've taken care not to alter pre-existing keys is proof of that. However, there are a couple of aspects to this update that I find a bit dubious. And I want to explain that and then I'll talk about what this is going to do to the market. So on the explanation given for this update, which is to combat fraud, I have no doubt there is tons of fraud involved in key sales. I suspect you get heaps of stolen credit cards coming onto the platform, buying keys, and then trying to quick sell them on cash out sites as a form of money laundering. Now, I'm not sure about this whole recently business. I've got my doubts about that, but whether it's actually new or not, doesn't fundamentally change what's going on. And I don't know if there's been pressure from regulators or whether this is just Valve's initiative, but I can see why they'd want to make this change. Fraud on your platform is a big deal. You've got a responsibility to try and address it and preventing people from trading keys would actually help to address it. But it's when we get to the Steam market part that I actually have some doubts about their explanation. I think they're exaggerating a bit here because they claim the vast majority of keys sold on the market are related to fraud. And I find it really hard to believe that's true. First of all, the Steam market can't be used to launder money. If you sell a key on the Steam market, the money stays in your Steam balance. It's useless for liquidating the cash you've stolen. You can only do that through the trading function to sell your keys on third-party sites. Also, if there was a shift to use CSGO keys to liquidate stolen money, and selling keys on the Steam market was part of that, you'd be able to see this by looking at the volumes of keys sold on the Steam market. Now, to clarify something, for certain currencies, it's cheaper to buy keys on the Steam market rather than in-game. Basically, Valve sells keys in a heap of different currencies, and because exchange rates fluctuate, they're generally cheaper in some countries and more expensive in others. So what happens is that people from countries with the cheapest keys sell their keys on the market to people from countries with the most expensive keys. And the person who sells the cheaper key makes a couple of cents profit, and the person who buys from the more expensive country saves a couple of cents on their keys. And let's look at the sales volume of the Prisma case key. Now, the columns are daily units sold, and I'll mark out a few key spots. First of all, we have this spot here. Now, this was due to sustained weakness in the Argentinian currency, making it cheaper for a lot of people to buy keys on the Steam market. Hence the high volumes until they are fixed things. Secondly, we have this spot here. Now, this is due to an exploit during the Steam Summer Sale that allowed people to level up their accounts via buying heaps of keys, resulting in mass buying of keys, flooding the market, causing prices to drop and therefore pushing down the volume sold on the market. And it ends when the Steam Summer Sale ends. Thirdly, we have this spike here due to a shock result in the Argentinian elections, causing a massive currency crash, which allowed them to buy keys at a massive discount. Naturally, they then went and flooded the market with these discount keys, allowing everyone else to buy keys at a massive discount too, until Valve stepped in and fixed the price of keys in Argentinian pesos. And finally, you can see volumes dropping off at the end here due to the release of the CS20 case. Now, what you can't see is any sustained increase in the amount of keys being sold on the market. Now, if fraud networks had recently started selling keys on the Steam market, as part of their efforts to liquidate their gains, you would be seeing an increase, and it's just not here. And 
It's not in the Horizon case key either, or the Danger Zone case key, or the Spectrum case key, that the only cases where I saw anything plausibly resembling a pickup in sales are the Spectrum 2 keys and the Clutch keys. And not only are these pretty pithy increases, they just so happen to coincide with the game's player base reaching record highs, which in turn would mean more people buying keys. And also, if it is money laundering, like why the fuck would you focus exclusively on the Spectrum 2 and Clutch Case keys? It should be showing up across every key. So look, as I said earlier, I can see why Valve decided to block trading for keys. I can see why that would have been used in money laundering, and I see why they'd want to stop that. But I don't see the rationale here for preventing keys from being sold on the Steam market. I don't see how it helps prevent people from laundering money. I don't see anything suspicious in the sales patterns. They actually directly contradict Valve's narrative that nearly all these sales are involved in fraud. And maybe Valve knows something that the public doesn't that changes the situation, but I can't take that on faith. I've got to work with the evidence that's available to me, and the evidence that's available to me directly goes against what Valve's saying. So I can see why they've taken away trading keys. I can see why that would be involved in fraud, but I can't understand why they've taken away selling keys on the Steam market. But look, rather than start speculating about whether Valve has other reasons, because I don't think that's going to help anything, let's discuss how this will impact the skins economy. And thankfully, I don't think this will be that big a deal. Because if you're looking to liquidate money through keys for non-criminal purposes, it is annoying. But if you're just trying to sell skins, I don't think losing keys as a currency is that big a deal because at the end of the day, there are other currencies available to people. One is Dota 2 Arcanas, they're quite popular at the moment, but another is real money. There's a huge ecosystem of third party sites allowing you to buy and sell skins for real money very easily. So while it might be annoying, it's not really that much of a paradigm shift. At the end of the day, instead of modern, you know, the modern CSGO skins economy, we don't need keys. It might suck for things like card bots that work based on keys, but they can adapt, and I think the community can adapt just fine. We've got other currencies we can use. It's not the end of the world. And in the meantime, if you've got some of these exclusive tradable keys, well, guess what? That shit is getting more expensive, so you, you may as well enjoy. You might be about to make some money because your keys are now essentially a contraband item. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.